Welcome to Jason Whiskey Wise. My name is Jason. Welcome today to our whiskey review as we're now moving from blended scotch whiskies into from entry level blended scotch into the premium category. And we're going to be reviewing today the Dewar's 12 year old. Now, this is one I want to say a shout out to Greg from Great Drams as he included me in the tweet tasting and I got a sample of the Dewar's 12. And whenever I get samples, guys, here on the channel or bottles, uh, I will tell you and disclose where they're from. And this one was given to me. So we're going to pour ourselves the remainder of the Dewar's 12 and uh, we'll get started with the review. Now, I have tasted this one a couple times in the past. When I'm normally in America, I can pick up the Dewar's White Label, which is the entry level, um, for around about $22 for a gallon. So it's you get a lot of that. And I think it's a half gallon. So yeah, two liters uh, for $22, which is really good value for money. So Dewar's 12 is a premium blended scotch whiskey. It's a 12-year-old whiskey bottled at 40% ABV. The actual home of this distillery is Aberfeldy, which you'll see a picture of over there. Um, I visited it and uh, we got to take the actual experience, or the Dewar's experience and the Aberfeldy experience. And the parent company that do own them are also Bacardi, who's a parent company that own Aberfeldy, Kragalaki, Altmore, uh, Glen Devron, and there's one distillery I'm always forgetting. It'll come to me eventually. But to get into it, the actual full size bottle of this one is 32 pounds. So it's double the price of the regular blended entry level whiskies. And it's not exclusive, and it probably does contain caramel color because they are blending whiskey together. So without further ado, let's get straight into the nose, into the nose. So begin on the nose for the Dewar's 12. This is quite light. It's almost, in terms of on the nose, you straight away get that vanilla creamy, sort of almost like a vanilla custard cream. Um, I do get this sort of hint of green apple. It's sort of layered together with fudge and a little bit of sultanas in the mix. And there's a faint citrus character. It's not got lots of complexity about it, but it's quite summery, quite light, and quite easy going. So let's get into the palette next. It's larger. So overall opinions on the palette for this whiskey, the texture arrives almost like a medium, light medium texture. It develops, it gains a slight bit of viscosity about it. And then you get these sort of characters going in, like almost like a Bramley apple pie layered with a little bit of icing sugar and then you get a little bit of spice coming to it. The spice is almost like a white peppery spice. It's almost sort of linked together by almost like a candied ginger aspect. There's like a mosquito in here, but it's almost like a candied ginger aspect. But I was going to say candied ginger, but I'm going to now switch it over to like gingerbread biscuits with a little bit of uh, icing sugar, royal icing sugar on the mix. It gives you that little bit of heat. It's not too much. It's actually quite easy going. And it just adds a little, I'd say a dimension to this whiskey from the initial, what I thought was kind of mono. It sort of develops and becomes a little bit more than what I was seeing. Now it does have a little bit of a soft citrus note about it, but I'm gonna have a second sip just to see exactly what that citrus note is. So getting back to that citrus note, it's almost for me to pinpoint, it's almost like lemongrass. And you get that sweetness that's rounding out everything at the end of it. And it's almost like, I want to say fudge, but I'm going to say it's almost like caramel. It's like a syrupy caramel, really rounding it all off together. Very nice. Let's get into the finish and we'll come to our conclusions. So overall into the finish for the Dewar's 12, the actual overall finish for it is kind of like a short medium. It's not very long. It's for double the price what I'm paying. It's just... It's just not staying around as long as I like. You do get like a vanilla oak. It's like oaky dryness about it. And it's followed up by these little, little bit of sparks of almost what I'd say is like white pepper and that sort of ginger snaps combined together. But in terms of my rating, I'm gonna give this one here a, I'm gonna give it an 80 out of 100. Now, the reason I'm critiquing it like that is because Compared to the other whiskies I've tasted so far, it's 32 pounds, which is almost double in price. Um, it's not the entry level as well, so it's a different. And I'm a big fan of Dewar's. I actually bought the 18 year old, which is one of my favorites from their range. I just feel the 12 just doesn't deliver for paying 32 pounds. And when I'm comparing it to other products from their portfolio and other blended whiskies, I would straight away, if I had 32 pounds and I had to buy something from Dewar's, I'd pick up the Aberfeldy 12-year-old. It's a brilliant whiskey, 
and it's around about £34, so it's in that same price bracket. Um, the nose on this one is quite light, as I mentioned, it's kind of like summery. Um, and the finish and the sort of texture on the palette, it's got a little bit of an extra dimension, but it's because of the spice aspect combined with the sort of like green apple-y, bramley apple pie. So overall, do I think it's value for money? No, I think it's just slightly overshooting itself because I think if it was in the 20s, mid 20s, I'd say, boom, get it. Um, but I think it's slightly overpriced. Do I think it needs water? You can add a little bit of water, maybe give it a bit of time, but I just felt the price point of this one for the quality and the lack of complexity, it just doesn't do it justice. So 80 out of 100 for the Dewar's 12. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments section, but I'm gonna pick up the Dewar's white label and the 15 for upcoming videos. And I'm gonna do up the 18 as well, so that's gonna be featured fairly soon. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. But on that note, if you have enjoyed, drop in a like, be sure to hit the subscribe button and check out some other videos I'll leave on the screen. But it's been me, Jason Whiskey Wise, Mr. Bananas, and we'll catch you for the next video. Slanger.